Oh guys, welcome back. I thought we'd do something different on our channel today. We've got Master One with us and we're gonna take it to another angle on uh, how to use self-defense and psychology and fighting and so on and put it all together. So I thought I'd introduce um, Master Wong. He's going to go through some simple ideas with us. But what I wanna talk about today is psychology and how you can diffuse a fight with humor. Because most people don't talk about that. What they do usually is they talk about stopping a fight yeah, yeah. with a punch yeah. or a kick. Yeah. But I actually think, you know what? A quick one-liner or talking to people can be actually uh, quite effective. What do you think? I think that's a very important because a lot of times something happens, you don't need to smack somebody in right away. You can defuse them by talking yeah. and keep it simple because now that you've got to see so many camera, you know, they pick you up and you go to jail and you clean your house, somebody gonna use it for the, so you got to understand what I mean. So let's give it, let's give, let's give, let's give you a situation here. So we've got George, yeah. everybody on our channel know, knows George because okay. I'm always hitting George okay. and he's quite hardy, <laughs> okay. so he takes a punch quite well. You, yeah. So if George comes up to you and says, what, you know, what are you looking at? You're looking at my boyfriend in case, well, that's probably me in this case, basically. You know, what would you say to him? I just say to him, man, I don't look at your boyfriend, man. <laughs> you, to, you know, I, I always remember, you can't just talk to them like that. I'll uh, say something because if it do, too straight, I just say, ah, oh, no, man, I don't talk at your boyfriend or anything. I keep them hand like that way in case because it may be from the moment that I'm talking, him start to be aggressive on me. Do you yeah, understand me? Yeah, so yeah. I just keep on that. No, man, if you walk into me and I go, so I keep it higher, so keep it like this to him. Okay? And I said, no, my dear, look at your boyfriend, man. Everything all right. Everything all right today. So that can be the, feel the, the situation. Or maybe I come and him, him, you say, talk to me again. Why are you looking at my boyfriend? Oh, uh, no, man. I didn't look at your <laughs> boyfriend at all, man. You know what I mean? I didn't look at your boyfriend at all. I will hold your hand like this a lot to make sure that if we got any problem here, I can do the movement. So I check the movement, but I just, no, I didn't look at your boyfriend, man. No, no, I didn't look at your boyfriend at all, man. No. And then I walk away. As a control of space. Yeah, control of space. But always, I always prepare for the worst can happen. The minute something happened. Okay, so I always check this. I don't say, oh, yeah, I don't look at your boyfriend. I say something, don't, he don't lie. He might be fucking smack me now. Okay, in the face, I could be a problem. I said, no, I don't look at your boyfriend, man. Your boyfriend look all right. It's good for you, not for me, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. that roughly, I, I keep mean, it simple. I mean, if you notice, immediately, which I really like straight away, Master One was controlling the space, so he wasn't sort of touching on and moving away. Yeah, because keep like, him distant. Yeah, yeah, you can't do you that. You don't do that. So, yeah. with the figures all the time I say to people, on the side, so if you're going to knee me, it'll be difficult. Yes, I can walk beforehand <coughs> and hand, I check this because check the hand come up off top of me and become a big problem now. He might something I say is wrong and he don't like it. He may be that he love his boyfriend so much, you know what I mean? <laughs> then become a problem. So I will be saying, no, no, I don't like your boyfriend, man. It's good for you, man, you know, but I keep them away. But if he start to try to grapple me, I will headbutt him one. I will knee him. I control him right away. I move him right away and then I move him here. Hey, have your boyfriend, man. I got thing to do. So I will keep it thing very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I will keep things simple. On a, on a yeah. general note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So protect the space, keep them away from you. and just That's stop it. Them. I mean, sometimes we get people talking about, I had a comment the other day on one of our videos and the guy was saying, oh, you can't be doing Wing Chun because you put your head down. And I, 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 I was quite surprised by that because do you, do you know how dangerous that is if you put your head back up like this? Exactly. Do you know people how dangerous this is when you put your head up like this? Mm -hmm. Let me explain how dangerous this is. If you push me and I fall, I go like this. Ah! Uh, and I break my neck now, it's a big <coughs> problem. If I put my head down, if I push, and I fall, I'll be here, my chin is in here, now jump on me and choke me. Choke me. So I keep my neck like this, difficult, yeah? I can yeah. probably not that easier, fall in the freezer to work with, and I can get rid of him. But if I go like this already, I'm floor, grab on me, I'm dead. I can't do much, I can grab your eye, but it choke me out. Do you understand? So this is very good uh, question, that why you put your head down, you don't do Wing Chun. Because here, access my movement right away from here. I access here. If I go like this, yeah, he put the head down before me. I will look fucking ugly. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so this is why people don't realize that in training the form you do Wing Chun, you don't do like this. You do like this with back straight. But in combat, you need to be for, to prepare for, 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 for unexpected thing. Okay? If you hear punch me in the face, yeah. Do you want me to fucking punch me in the face in here? You dumb fuck. You get smacked in the face, get knocked out. And then if you're, some of you like sucking too much, you lost your goddamn face. So you want to be like here. See, now I can be going in. I control it. <coughs> so yeah. What? I mean, as a general rule of thumb, I always say, look, at the end of the day, you don't want to have your chin up. Two reasons. A good boxer knows he's going to punch That's right. That. And even if you train Wing Chun, we 
chopped to the throat anyway. So why would you want to be having your chin up, basically, because you're exposing your throat? So, you know, there's a difference between theory and practice. And at the end of the day, we're looking at practice. We're looking at applying this. We're not playing with theory because at the end of the day, we're trying to save lives. That's right. So. So thanks for watching. This is just an insight. We're going to be doing some work together. So if you check out Master Wong's YouTube channel, you'll see a lot more detail on, on his work and also some of the stuff that we're going to be doing That's together it. as well. So you check, uh, if you put in a Master Wong, you'll see all my stuff come up and Mark come up, uh, all the stuff come up so that he do on my channel. You can see that we like to share things and like to work together. And you know, we talk the same way. And you see my hair like this? You all bow, uh, the yeah. both of us. We're all the same. We're all the same. <laughs> this is why people always say, the crust, don't grow in a busy street. Out, people. Thanks for watching.